Hi, it's Pat Ham here, and today I would like to talk about comping in the Reason Sequencer. Now, if you are not familiar with what comping is, the word comp is short for composite. The idea is you have multiple takes, and from those takes, you take all of the best pieces to create your comped composite track. So let's jump in with a very typical example. Here I have a guitar take. And you can't see it just from looking at the clip in the sequencer, but this is actually four takes. The way that I can see those four takes is in the comp editor. So with the clip selected, if you click on comp edit, it will open up the comp edit mode. Now this is a little small for me, so I like to zoom in a little bit. Over here on the right, now they're very faint. This is something that I'm not too crazy about in Reason, and something maybe you may have missed because they're very faint, but these are zoom in and zoom out buttons. Now if you click on zoom in, it makes your waveforms taller. Now that's much easier for me to be able to focus on. Now up here at the top, we've got our final audio. This is the result of all of our comping work. Down here in the bottom section, we have all of our individual takes. By default, the last one that appears is the last take that you performed. So that's why one of these is active and all the rest are grayed out. Now let's jump in and see how we can comp a track. It might not be quite so obvious, but the way that you select the audio that you like is by using the razor tool. Now this I find a little confusing, or at least I should say I did at first, because when I think of a razor's tool, I think of cutting things out. But it's actually the opposite. In the comp edit mode, you use the razor tool to select what you want. Now let's try using this tool. And we'll notice right off the bat that we have a problem. The idea is that I can drag this razor tool across the audio that I want to use. But when I do that, it's not behaving properly. It's actually moving the audio. This is something that has confused me. And so I wanted to specifically point this out. When you are comping, it's possible that you are in single take mode. These buttons over here refer to single take mode. If you are in single take mode, you may not take audio from other takes. And it also means that you may not use any of the tools for comping. So before we start doing any comping work, we have to turn off single take mode. Now it's possible that it's already off, but it's simply clicking that button. And now, if I want to comp, you drag across the audio, and that is now the audio that's playing. Let's take a listen. Now, if you are processing your audio heavily, as I am here because I'm running it through an amp simulation, you might have trouble being able to tell which parts of your takes sound the best. If that is the case, you can use this speaker tool. Click on the speaker tool and you can just click anywhere on any of the audio and you will hear the raw, unprocessed audio track. So that's literally what came directly into the computer through my audio interface. So that might be very useful for you if you're not sure and, and having an effect like an amp simulation, I'm using one of the Kawasa plugins, it's gonna muddy up your sound, of course. It's gonna make it sound different and therefore you might have trouble being able to hear 
which take is the best take. So that's that can be very helpful. I use this a lot for when I'm comping. So now I heard a point over here that I thought sounded a little messy. So let's listen back quickly using the speaker tool. That's a little messy there. That's a little bit better. Eh. I think that take eight is my favorite. So I'm gonna go back to my razor tool and drag over it. Then back to my selector tool. And I like that a lot better. Now, what if I'm in the middle of the clip here? If I like the first half of this take, but the second half of this take, I can use these handles here. Make sure that you don't have multiple selected. I can use these handles to move the comp edit point. And if I need to, I can turn off snapping so that it can be a much more fine-tuned change. Let's hear it back again. Now that sounds okay, but just in case there's a little bit of a pop or a crack or something and it doesn't sound so clean, up here at the top, this little arrow, these are handles for crossfades. So pull that and you will crossfade the audio so there will be a smooth transition between the takes. That sounds a little bit better. So that is the basics of comping a track. You use the razor tool, keyboard shortcut R for razor tool, drag it over the audio that you want to use. The other thing that I do a lot, as I mentioned, is I use the speaker tool, keyboard shortcut I. But another thing that you can do that's super convenient is if you are on the select tool, you can hold down control shift, or if you're on a Mac, command shift, hold those keys down and look, it temporarily becomes the speaker tool. Again, that is command shift or control shift on a PC. Hold them down and you temporarily have a speaker tool. Let go and you're back to the select tool. So that is a typical application of comping in the Reason Sequencer. So now on to the fun stuff. Now here I have a voiceover sample. Let's have a listen to a little bit of it. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. All right, so this is four takes just kind of in line. I did them back to back. I did not use comping for this. This is typically what I do with voiceover work. I'll read the whole entire voiceover part. I'm not going to loop through that because if it's voiceover, I don't know how long the performance will be. So I just record take after take after take back to back and I edit those together kind of in line. Now here's the trouble with that. and. If you've watched any of my videos, you already know how much I love Reason. But this is one feature about Reason that I'm not so crazy about, and that is that in the sequencer, we do not have crossfading. So, say, for example, I like this, the rain in Spain, that performance of the rain in Spain, and over here, the turn off snapping, falls mainly on the plane. I like falls mainly on the plane from the third take. Well, the trouble is this is not multiple takes. This is one single take. So what I would do is I would take my razor tool, split it here, 
select tool and cut it so it's like this and bring it over here now I don't have crossfading between audio clips so it could sound kind of choppy and not clean the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane that doesn't sound so great now of course I just did that super quickly uh, maybe I'll be a little bit more precise with that however there's a better way so since we do not have crossfading directly on the reason sequencer remember from our example before that we do have crossfading in the comp editor however with my clip selected if I click on comp edit we'll remember that I only have one take of this audio so how am I supposed to crossfade takes if I only have one take and the answer is reason allows us to right click and duplicate comp rows so I can make an exact duplicate of the first take which in this case is take four I now have a copy of take four directly under it is grayed out since we are in single take mode here as you can see because single take mode button is active remember we cannot do any comp editing in single take mode so turn it off and now we are ready to go so here's what I can do as I mentioned I like the rain in Spain in this take falls mainly on the plane in this take so once again I want to use my razor tool and I'll just grab this area because I know this is falls mainly on the plane now I know you're thinking why would you do that it's the exact same take all you're doing is playing the same audio the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane and I just told you that I wanted to use this one well with the select tool active we can move the audio so I'm just gonna slide this over to the position where I want it the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane now that's a very smooth edit and it works okay because this voiceover has a very easy edit point but just in case remember we have the benefit of our crossfades so this is the solution to crossfades missing in the reason sequencer if you need to crossfade audio you can pull it into the comp editor right click to duplicate the comp rows and make your edits as you need to and crossfade here the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane and it sounds smooth like it's one take now let's close the comp editor I know that a lot of us are not using reason for voiceovers and you're probably thinking why are you wasting my time with this so let's do a musical example here I have a guitar you know it's playing a very simple kind of a solo line now this note right here sounded pretty bad so let's try to fix it this one sounds good so I'm going to take this one which sounded bad and replace it with this one that sounds good so let's repeat the process that we did in our vocal example with this clip selected let's get into our comp edit mode again this was one take so we need to right click on the take and say duplicate comp rows press R for our razor tool and once again razor tool does not work because we are still in single take mode so simply unclick this button now my razor tool will work so I'm just gonna go this spot right here that's what I want to replace initially it will sound exactly the same 
because I haven't done anything yet. All I've done is set a different comp take separation on the same exact audio. So it's doing nothing. So now what I need to do with the select tool, I need to slide this audio over so that this is what's playing. And that sounds pretty smooth, but just in case, I just shift selected both of my handles there. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see them a little bit better. And now if I do a crossfade with both of them selected, it'll do the crossfade on both. Just need a little bit of a crossfade, I think. <laughs> So now I have taken a performance from later on in the same take and applied it to an earlier position within that part. So let's close the comp edit. And now that is a good example of using one piece of audio for, in this case, a voiceover, and in this case, a guitar example, duplicating the comp row and using different sections of the same audio as a comp. Now, one more thing I would like to talk about. Here we have two pieces of audio recorded at different times. This was not like the first example where I looped these over and over again and created multiple takes. This is, if I click on comp edit, you'll see this is one take, and this is a separate performance. This is another single take. But I want to join these clips together. Let's have a listen to these clips. This is probably like a rhythm guitar part that is different in this spot than it is in this spot. But let's say I want to join those clips. I don't need them to be two separate clips. So if I join them, right click on multiple selected clips and in your right click menu, you have an option for join clips. They create one Oh, there's that video glitch going on in Reason 12. Um, they create that one audio clip. But what I find interesting about this is these were two separate takes. If I click on it and go into the comp edit mode, they were created as multiple comp lanes. And now we have a section of silence between them that is the active section between the two clips that I joined. So we comp here as usual, as we need to, but I wanted to just really quickly show you that because I think it's very interesting that when you are joining clips, that they become comp lanes. One thing about joining clips that has always made me a little bit nervous is, am I losing something? Am I losing the ability to edit the original audio file? And it turns out I am not because this is creating a comp lane for me. So that's a little bit of fun with comping in Reason. If there's anything else you would like to see or if you have any questions, please mention them in the comments below. Thanks a lot. And I will see you in the next one.